Hey y'all, B Bridges 100 back again. Guys, sorry I've been gone. Uh, haven't really made any videos the last couple days. Been pretty busy, and uh, sorry if you've subbed to me or have left comments and I haven't responded. Uh, just want to go ahead and put that out there. Uh, thank you to everyone who's responded to me or messaged me. Uh, <laughs> and thank you to all my new subscribers. I, I apologize that I haven't gotten around to personally thanking you I just haven't been near a computer the nearest computer I have is my phone and it won't let me reply to comments uh, or anything I can't do anything with it other than watch videos pretty much so uh, I apologize but thank you to everybody uh, your support means a lot to me it really does and um, quick update so as you guys know I got my new shop set up in Cincinnati Currently, I'm back in Indianapolis. Just got in last night. Um, but uh, before I left Cincinnati, I did finally get my steel from the New Jersey Steel Baron. Uh, you know, I, I highly recommend using him, uh, Aldo. Uh, he he really is great. The customer service is great. Uh, I don't know what the issue was exactly, but my order got a little held up, probably because the holidays more than anything. But, uh, sorry, here I'm going to do this real quick. It took about, it took me, it took 11 days to get it, which is not typical. Um, and I don't want to dissuade anybody from, uh, from using the New Jersey Steel Baron because he really is awesome. Excellent customer service. Um, and they got it, they switched the address for me to, you know, for my shipping. Uh, when, you know, after I, after I had already ordered the steel. So that was pretty nice. That was great. Um, with the holidays and all though, I mean, 11 days isn't that bad, you know, a little over a week, no big deal. Um, uh, but, uh, basically here's what we got. We got a 48 inch long bar of, uh, AEBL steel, the stainless. Um, and this is just one inch thick. This is the stuff that I make the, uh, sidekicks out of the original, the original sidekick. Okay, so we got a big bar of that, 48 inches long, and then another bar of the one and a half inch, which I made the bush crafter out of, and that's also 48 inches long. See, it's fairly good size here. Well, maybe you can see. See that? Whoa. So, I should get plenty of knives out of these. And once I get these two busted out, I'm actually about to head out now to Home Depot, pick up some, some new... Uh, wheels cut off wheels from my grinder my angle grinder so uh i can get back put my templates on here draw out the knives i'm going to be busting out and uh get to work the sooner i get these busted out the sooner i can send them and the ones i already have finished and ready for heat treat off to the heat treaters you know i'm trying to get as many in one batch as possible uh to kind of save me some money on the heat treat uh but yeah, just wanted to kind of show you guys that the steel's in. I'm going to be getting to work. Uh, I don't have my shop here in Indianapolis currently, of course. But I did bring my small... Actually, here, I'll show you what I brought. Oh, I have my angle grinder. So I can go outside. You can see I need a new cutoff wheel. Because um, I burned through one of these just cutting out one knife. So uh, my angle grinder, cheap little Harbor Freight one. <laughs> And uh, my 1x30 Harbor Freight uh, belt sander. So, got that. That's good. Um, and then, of course, I've got my knives that I've showed you guys. Now, I, I didn't show you the handles that I've cut out. I've cut out a couple uh, handles. Well, I've cut out handles for all the ones I have finished. Uh, I haven't showed them all to you. But I will after I kind of sand them down. Uh, they, they're just roughly, roughly cut out profile to the blade. Uh, until I, I was going until my bandsaw crapped out on me, which kind of sucks because it's a brand new bandsaw. And I think I burned the motor up on it. So, anyhow, trying to think of anything else. Uh, I don't think there's really any other things to update. A little update on the beard. You know, I thought it would be a lot thicker by now. I mean, or a month a month into it. You know, I really... See, it's pretty thin all through here. I guess I don't grow that great of facial hair at all. 
But, you know. I guess it is what it is. No, that's where we're at. It's now, what, the 28th day of November? So, uh, well, so 27 days of growing. Didn't get that thick. I mean, it's pretty long, I guess. It's just not thick. But, hey, eh, that's why I don't typically grow a beard, I guess. But, uh, anyway, it's been, a, it's been a pretty cool experience doing that. Wow, this is stupid. Why am I even talking about this? All right, guys. Um, steel's in. On my way to the Home Depot, uh, pick up some cutoff wheels and some other random stuff. I'm going to get a new respirator. I don't know what I did with my good one. It's somewhere, probably somewhere in my storage shed, um, which I'm not going to dig through. It's just too much. So I'm just going to go get a brand new one. I've been using like dust masks, but uh, they're just not cutting it, you know. I'm going to get a full-on nice respirator and... Uh, Pretty much the same one I already had, but I have to get a new one. So I'm going to get that, some cutoff wheels. I don't know what else. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get to Home Depot, look around a little bit. I got a gift card there, so yeah. Like you guys care about that. I'm just rambling now. I missed you guys. I really have. All right, well, Liam and I, he's right outside this door waiting on me patiently. So uh, we're going to head off to the store and... Uh, Come back to you guys with more later. Till next time, y'all take it easy.